the road to episode 7, my ongoing series where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens in December 2015. And today I'm talking about the teaser trailer. Now as the time of recording this, um, which is about uh, 20 to 1, uh, although it'll be 20 to 12 in the UK, uh, on the, what is the date, the 28th of November 2014, this is the day that the trailer is dropping. It hasn't dropped yet, but I'm going to talk about the anticipation, which I was going to do earlier on in the week. On Tuesday I was going to do it, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday I got sidetracked, Wednesday I had other stuff, couldn't get to it. Thursday I was really ill yesterday, so today I'm feeling a little bit better, so here we go. Um, the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 7 has been rumoured for quite a couple of months now. Uh, when's it going to come out? You know, the rumour that John Williams was recording. Um, some music for it recently, a couple of weeks ago, and um, when's it going to debut, what films are going to be in front of, people said it's going to be in front of Big Hero 6, the big Disney movie in November, it wasn't, it's going to be in front of Mocking J Part 1, it wasn't, um, The Hobbit was a, a main contender, it was actually rumoured that someone said within Lucasfilm or something, you might want to go see The Hobbit, so people were like, oh it's going to be in front of The Hobbit in December, and then people were like, well no, it's going to be in front of in, Into the Woods on uh, Christmas Day this year, it's a Disney film, made sense. Then people saying expect it on uh, a another holiday that's not Christmas. So people think of Thanksgiving. Turned out to kind of be true. Um, and then people, you know, saying, "Oh, is it going to be this? Is it going to be that?" Lots of rumors, lots of speculation. And suddenly, again, out of nowhere, this week it was it was said, "Okay, on Friday the 28th, it's going to be released in cinemas, but only in nine cinemas in the U.S. Out of the whole world." Nine cinemas would get the trailer for uh, the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in front of every film at these nine select theatres. That's when I was going to make a video about it and discussing that, what I felt about that. Well, you know, uh, is it good that it's just being shown in cinemas? And I kind of like the idea that it wouldn't be released online, that it would just be a cinema-only thing. It would make more people go to the movies, I guess, and also just um, make it feel more special. But then at the same time, I thought, well, it's going to get pirated like a mother because... I remember when The Dark Knight Rises, uh, the trailer came out about six, seven months before the film came out, and it also came with the trailer, uh, came with the prologue to the film, the opening scene with Bane on the plane, mainly on the plane in Spain, and uh, <laughs> and it was like pirated, it was online, people were downloading it, it was in rubbish quality, and I was thinking, oh, that'd be a shame. And at that point, they'd have to release it online anyway, and I think that's what happened with the Avengers Age of Ultron. The trailer got leaked, uh, not recorded in the cinema, but it got leaked, and so they decided to release it earlier anyway. Also, this week, I think it was on Tuesday or Wednesday, I think it was Tuesday, the Jurassic World trailer came out for the new Jurassic Park film, which I, you know, for the record, wasn't really that, you know, didn't really love it to be honest, but um, it was supposed to come out uh, yesterday, I think, and they changed the date. And then someone tweeted, well, I wonder why they did that, maybe to get out of the way of some other trailer debuting this week. So, um, and that was after we'd, we'd heard about the nine cinemas thing. Then the day after that, it was announced on StarWars.com. Okay, 30 cinemas in the US and Canada are going to be showing the trailer from Friday to Sunday. Um, and then it will follow nationwide, worldwide, following this weekend. Uh, you know, cinemas everywhere and you, you get to see it. Um, and I was thinking, well, is it going to be potluck, you know? Just like whatever film you go see, you might see it. And I was thinking, well, if you go see a big blockbuster film, you're likely to see the Star Wars trailer. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to go to the cinema to watch this, and, you know, I was, I was willing to do it. Um, but then, Star Wars tweeted, uh, Star Wars, the, Twitter, the official Twitter account tweeted, um, The Force Awakens trailer will be hitting iTunes on Black Friday, which is today Black Friday, which I could care less about there being deals on Blu-rays and stuff. I want to see the Star Wars trailer, so I'm really excited about it. J.J. Abrams also posted, like, a little um, a picture of a note that he wrote, and it had, like, a cool little picture on it, and I'll put it on screen, actually. 88 seconds and uh, have an awesome Thanksgiving. So people were kind of speculating that it was going to come out uh, around Thanksgiving or today online. And I think that's really good that they are releasing it online at the same time because it would have been clamoured for. It would have been pirated anyway, I think. And also, uh, it just maximises the audience. And I was thinking about this as well in terms of like uh, the current day um, uh, promotion of films, you know, with trailers and things like that. Um, it's just such a different climate, such a different landscape than it was even 10, 15 years ago. Uh, I'm, I remember when the trailer for Star Wars Episode 1 came out, and the only way I could see that was by taping it off the TV. It was played on The Big Breakfast, I think. And I recorded it on a VHS tape and completely wore the thing out. I absolutely loved that trailer. It was just the best. So much better than the film itself turned out to be, even though I like the film. I don't hate it, but um, the trailer was amazing, and I could only tape it off the TV in like fuzzy quality. 
Uh, but now it's just instantly available. I think wasn't it the new Avengers trailer got something like 20 million hits or something crazy like that. And you just think about that, 20 million hits. Now I'm sure there are multiple people maybe watching it at home and then going over with their parents and watching it again. So it's not 25 unique hits, but there's still, uh, 25 million unique hits, but there's still tens of millions of people watching this and it's really, it's just incredible, you know, especially that was a Gangnam Style, didn't that get like over a billion views? I, I find that staggering that, um, you know, you can have these huge TV shows that, uh, you know, average like three to five million viewers uh, per episode and then you'll get someone like PewDiePie who gets more viewers than that and it's just kind of crazy, <laughs> you know, that, um, again, this is a really random offshoot now, but if anyone's seen Red Dwarf, uh, Robert Llewellyn, who plays Crichton, he used to do a YouTube show called Carpool, I think that's what it was called, where he just p give people lifts around London, but famous people, and he just have a chat with them, there's a really good one with Patrick Stewart, and one of them was, was with Charlie McDonnell, McDonald, something like that, uh, who's a, a young British um, vlogger, and so he gave Charlie the, the lift, and he was talking to him about um, how many millions of viewers that he gets, and things like that, and he's like, have you ever seen Red Dwarf? And Charlie was like, nope. <laughs> Robert Llewellyn was like, that's just brilliant, he was just laughing, he was just like, that's so funny that, you know, Red Dwarf got, like, so many hundreds of thousands of viewers, and you've got, like, more viewers than we ever had, and it's just, like, it's really weird the way that the internet has really, um, maximized the, the spread of certain things that become popular, and with the internet, I think that, uh, it was a good move on their part to release the trailer online today. Now, I don't know when it's going to come. Uh, obviously, I have to wait for it to be properly Friday in America first because that's the that takes precedent, I guess. Um, but I've heard from someone that it'll be online around 3.15 UK time, so around 4.15 my time, which seems a very specific time. I don't know how this person knew this, but either way, um, so that'll be cool. I mean, I, I was expecting it to be in the afternoon or evening anyway because of, you know, again, the, the time difference and it'll be released in America. Um, but I'm really excited and I will be recording a reaction video. And this is the fun stuff. This is what I really envisioned this series would be back in 2012 when I first had the idea for this series, you know, like, gosh, like over two years ago. And, um, and I think I started this series in February, so it's almost two years since I've been doing these Road to Episode 7 videos. And finally we're getting some really juicy stuff. This 88 second trailer, I've got no idea what it's going to be in. I've, I've read some of the descriptions, there were some descriptions online that sounded very kind of like, oh, I could see that being the actual trailer. Um, from what I understand, um, or what I kind of am, am guessing, we won't see the main three. I don't think we're going to see Luke or Leia or Han. At the, at the most, I could imagine seeing maybe the back of Luke in a Jedi cloak or something like that. But I'm expecting to see probably some shots of the newer characters, maybe like two effect shots or something, and then just like Star Wars, The Force Awakens for like 30 seconds or something. I don't think there's going to be 88 seconds of balls-to-the-wall action. I think it's going to be very, um, very classy and very... Uh, you know, sparse, but enough to, again, it's a teaser trailer, you know, and I'm glad they haven't gone the route of giving a teaser to the teaser trailer. I was talking about this recently, I can't remember where it was, a video or a podcast or something, that it's ridiculous that these days we get teasers to trailers. I think that's ridiculous, and we did. We got a 10 second teaser trailer for the trailer of Jurassic World, and I just thought, what is the point of that, you know? So I'm glad they haven't done that, you know, they're just going to give it all to us in one go, the 88 second trailer. When does that happen, by the way? When, do, when does a company say, this is exactly how long the trailer is going to be? It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. And um, I think this, uh, more than anything, has the power to break the internet over Kim Kardashian's fat ass because that was just stupid. I can't, I can't believe I was seeing pictures of her ass photoshopped all over the internet. And it was like, break the internet. And I was like, what? Like, what, what, what is that, you know? Star Wars. If anything is going to break the internet, it's going to be the Star Wars trailer. We'll see what happens. I doubt it, but, you know. I'm sure it's going to be, it's, it's got to get millions of views. Um, that was another thing, again, I'm way just rambling here, but the tweet that said that the trailer would be online on Friday only got like about uh, a thousand retweets. Like, what the hell? You know, like, Ellen can post a fucking selfie from, um, sorry for the language. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying sorry for the language. That's just, I guess, maybe kids might watch these ones. I don't know. But yeah, Ellen can take a selfie at, at the Oscars and get like millions of retweets and the Star Wars trailer. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Retweet, you know. I don't know. I just I thought it'd be huge, bigger than that. But uh, the trailer, I'm sure, will be a, a big success, and I'm really excited for it. Can't wait to do the reaction video later on today, so I'm sure I'll be posting it today as well. So you're getting a double dose of the road to episode seven today, and um, yeah, I, I expect the full first trailer will be probably in July. If you think about it, like uh, you know, the Avengers 
trailer that just came out was about six or seven months before, about six months before the, the film comes out. So I think in July we'll probably get like the first big trailer with shots of Luke and Leia and Han and all that, all that good stuff. Um, and again, you've got to remember, this is, like a, this is like over a year before the film comes out. I mean, I hope people aren't expecting too much from this and won't come away disappointed because um, the Dark Knight Rises teaser trailer came out a year before the film came out and it was literally just Gordon in a bed going, Batman must come back. Like that was all it was, you know, it was just like, a, it was just nothing really. It was like, well, what's going on there? It was no, it was more than the tease. It was just like a bing and that was it. So to get an 88 second teaser, um, I think, just don't expect too much, I think, is probably the key thing. But by the time you're watching this, the trailer's probably out, so I'm just recording this for the sake of it, and just my thoughts on the anticipation of the release of the trailer, and this went far longer than I thought it would be. But I'm just excited to be able to talk about it, because I was so ill yesterday, and I really wanted to make this video yesterday. But it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the trailer reaction video, and I'll see you with that one.